to take a break now and then for a good laugh, and we found some inspiration on YouTube we wanted to share with you. So joining me again to share her favorite YouTube videos is New Day Audience Coordinator Susie Wiley. Not that you spend all your work time on YouTube, no. but a little bit of it. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Actually, everybody in our office loves these. So this is don't tell what no. we do in our <laughs> office. Well, on the weekends, on the weekends. It's all work-related. Yes. I just want the general manager to know. All work-related. Exactly. I see this first one has nothing to do with anything. It's just, just laughing. It's just so delightful. And every, we had it on in the office, and you just started laughing. I, this just, is hysterical to me. Shall so we take a look? Yeah. Let's look. Baby Micah. <laughs> And I love this. It's like Pavlov's theory that we all studied. He just sees the paper and starts laughing. Yeah. So it, apparently it was a rejection letter, a job rejection right. letter. His dad was looking for work, so his dad decided to rip up the letter. And as you can see, Micah finds that just too funny. It's hilarious. And I can't get enough of this one. Right. I we can't. just keep laughing and that, laughing. That kid's gonna have a great temperament. The next one we loved as well. This is um, called Guilty Dog. And this is unrehearsed. They just added a little bit of music. Have you seen this? Yeah. This is a sensation. It's had 5,650 hits so far. I haven't seen this one yet. Let's look. Apparently, while I was out, somebody got into the kitty cat treats. <laughs> Did you do this? <laughs> Number two. Not guilty. Uh, yeah. Did you do this? Guilty. Look at me. Come here. Let me see. Let me see your face. Oh, you did. You did. You did. You did. You did this. You got in the kitty cat's treats. In the kennel. Go ahead. Oh. Time out. Very disappointed. You're in the kennel box. Please. Isn't that great? You've got to love this about dogs, and I just, I think it's so amazing that they have the brain power to know they yep. did something wrong, but not the brain power to stop themselves from doing right. it. They're like right well, in that intersection. Like teenagers, right? Kind of <laughs> like that, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I got that impression of my own children when they are guilty with that one look it's on his like, face. Like, <laughs> I've done it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And this family's wonderful. They actually, they raise money for Cancer Research and Rescue Dog Foundation. Oh, and we'll have those cool. links on our website, as well as all of these YouTube okay, videos. Okay, great. But, um, this this next one has been very controversial. Controversial. Thirteen year old Rebecca Black. Oh yes. She recorded a song called Friday, and the lyrics. Have you heard this? Well, take a listen. It's like a hammer to your head. <laughs> Off a Friday. Does she? She moves to Saturday. Yeah? <laughs> partying, partying. Oh, I can't take it. <laughs> okay, this this 13 year old girl, and she's got a lot of flack. She's even had some death threats. What? Um, yes, and they've hired a lawyer, this family, and they, you know, yes, it's a bit cheesy. But, and, and she's taken some flack because the family went to the Ark Music Factory and paid money and they produced videos. And, and they've written this song, they actually wrote this song, adults did, and they produced these videos. But you know, more power to her. She's had 50, more than 50 million hits on this. She's making money. How is that, in my opinion, how is that any different than Miley Cyrus's dad hiring an agent or somebody else using a famous father? Um, we bought the video. Enough people have bought this on iTunes. This girl's going places. She's actually touring now, and she'll oh. be here in Seattle soon. Okay. Well, I mean, it is a slightly irritating song, yes. but it is right. certainly not death threat worthy. Right. I mean, that's and ridiculous. She does know all the days of the week because they're all mentioned in the song. Excellent. I'm glad yes. to hear. Okay, we just have a couple seconds, yep. but let's get in our last one. Yes, this is um, another baby laughing using flarp, which is something I love. But take a look, okay. and then I'll show you. 
<laughs> that is Clark. One dollar worth of fun. <laughs> so show us what Clark is. This is Clark, and you can buy it for a dollar. And I love it. It's very cathartic. <laughs> <laughs> and that child is about four now. That was in 2007. But I have to agree, this is so fun. I leave it on my desk, and people come by and just, you know, just have fun with it. There we go. And done. That, that's the secret of our office. We have fun. <laughs> right there. Susie, thank you. I appreciate it. Flarp for a dollar. I just didn't know. We're, we're going to have links to all of these YouTube videos on our website for you. I'll stop now. <laughs> you can watch them again and again. They never get old. I swear no. they don't. Okay, after the break, something called nomadic dining. Don't do it. Do not no, do it. Makes eating it. out exciting. You don't even know the location of the meal until the last minute. <laughs> Chef Paul Hyman from Kirkland's Been on the Lake will explain and cook up a great spring seafood dish in just a moment. We'll be right back. <laughs> One more. There we go.